G'day, I'm Jason Hodges and today we're talking about Sir Walter, DNA certified soft leaf buffalo. Now this is a success story. It's tough and hardy and good looking to boot. From 1997 to today, we've sold over 70 million metres, which equals more than half a million homes have this as their beautiful lawn. Now where other grasses struggle to survive in different situations, the best thing about Sir Walter is it thrives. When it comes to shade tolerant lawns, soft leaf buffaloes are your best pick. They're up here compared to other varieties and the reason why is it's a broad leaf grass, which means it attracts the most amount of sunlight that it can possibly get, creating photosynthesis, which gives the plant energy so it grows and recovers and survives in those shady areas. Now out of all the soft leaf buffaloes, Sir Walter performs as one of the very best in shady areas and will survive and even thrive on as little as three hours sunlight a day. So Walter Dino Certified's got a tight growth habit which holds out most weeds and it's also got the ability to repair itself quickly if damaged, lessening the chance of bare patches in your lawn. So Walter DNA Certified Soft Leaf Buffalo is drought tolerant. It's stood up to our tough climate for more than 20 years. But from time to time, it does need a water. It's important that we're effective and efficient with it. We don't want to waste water or our money, but we do want to maintain a beautiful lawn. Preparation and installation. Before Sir Walter Dino Certified is laid, it is important that you follow these steps. Kill off any existing vegetation using glyphosate or a similar non-selective herbicide. Spread turf underlay soil. We recommend that you use at least 100 mil. Apply a starter fertiliser to encourage deeper root growth and to support it while it's getting established. Lay turf in a brickwork pattern. Water immediately after installation. So once you start laying your lawn, get the water on it quickly and a lot. The point where you can hear it slosh underfoot for the first water. Then two to three times a day, a little bit of water just to keep it damp. Now the most important thing is never let it dry out. Once the lawn starts to get established, that means the roots are going down into your turf underlay. You can back the water off to a point where you mightn't be watering at all. The next time you'll be watering it is in a warmer month when the lawn starts to dry out maybe and it's saying please give me a drink. Important points for irrigation of Sir Walter DNA certified. If watering is needed once established, water only when you see signs that the grass is drying out. For example, wilted leaves or the blade of the grass is starting to close up. Don't water in the cooler winter months unless you see signs of stress. If irrigation is needed, deeply soak the top 100 mil of soil. Generally, 30 minutes with a standard sprinkler is going to do the trick. Water early in the morning to improve efficiency and plant health. Now, when it comes to mowing your Sir Walter, you can use a rotary mower like this with a catcher. You can use a cylinder mower like the ones they'd use on a golf course and you'll get a really pristine finish. Now we recommend you use the catcher but if you've got a mulcher mower that's fine too. What you've got to look for is that once you've mowed it there's nothing sitting on top of the lawn. That's just going to block the sun and choke out your lawn. Now you can mow between 20 and 60 mil and in the cooler months where the lawn is slowing down and going into dormancy mow it a little bit higher and it'll handle more traffic. Important points for mowing Sir Walter DNA certified. Ensure your mower blades are sharp to prevent tearing the leaf. Never remove more than one third of the leaf blade at any one time unless you're dethatching. If dethatching is required, do it in late spring for best results. So in short, Sir Walter DNA certified buffalo is the great all-rounder. It's tough and hardy, it's a bit forgiving, so if we're a bit lazy, you can mow it and it'll still look great and bounce back. And when it looks as good as this, it's something to be proud of. You're not Danny.